morning guys or evening wherever you guys are it is about 9 30 here monday morning one thing i want to go over i get a lot of guys say i want a 70 cc kit on my bike um and they ask what are the differences why is one kit a hundred dollars and why is one kit 300 400 bucks um the differences are going to be your quality your horsepower quality of materials the parts that you get in that kit as well i'm going to just take a very basic $99 Chinese style kit that you're going to find on eBay, Amazon, kind of your, your no name brand. And then also a lot of the in-house brands that you guys will see as well. Um, uh, also keep in mind if you guys buy like Tida kits and whatnot for a lot of the two stroke stuff, you're not actually buying a Tida brand product. What you're buying is Tida's box and then they stuff in whatever sub kit the supplier gives them. I I was buying Tida for I was probably the biggest USA, well, I know it's the biggest USA buyer for two-stroke Tida stuff for about three, four years. And it got to a point where, you know, you typically get the same cylinder and then towards the end it was, you open it, you get a, you get a, a cylinder, you don't, you don't even know where it came from. The customer would call me and say, hey, what the heck, you're selling me knockoff stuff. It's not Tida. And they say, well, that, that's how this works is they just give you whatever for that reason. And um, basically the stuff you made in China and really, 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 horrible horrible customer service and just poor products i don't sell their stuff anymore i try to steer away from that i do we do try to stock some um cost effective effective options but that aren't going to be total junk so they're not everybody is always going to want a two three hundred dollar cylinder um some guys just want a budget thing and that's totally fine but i want to just explain the differences between what you're getting and what you're paying for um for instance, just because I have it on the shelf, this is a Tida 120 stroker cylinder that I've cut in half just to show you guys what's going on um, and kind of how it's put together. But this guy is dirty. Um, not a great example, but you can really see, I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, let me see. The uh, casting quality is really bad on these things. What you're gonna get with the casting is super bad. Um, the ports are all very sharp and a lot of times, um, the Nicosil, well that one's not aluminum, but a lot of times the Nicosil is in pretty poor condition. We've got a Polini, Polini over here. Definitely gonna be a much better product, better material, um, better casting process as well. We have another Tida. I'm gonna show you that one. That one holds up my sign. I don't, actually this one came back to me, I think because it was out around. It was actually tapered, so it's skinnier at the top. Um, I think it was, well, I don't know, one way or the other, but the piston would just bind up inside of it. So again, this is a Tida cylinder. We don't sell any of this stuff anymore just because of the problems that we had with pistons exploding and all that good stuff. Um, what we're gonna show you is a basic uh, Minarelli vertical. This guy, the, the our, kind of our go-to kit, what it comes with unpackaging it compared to a, you know, $80, $90 uh, Chinese style kit and go from there. Not really going to get into the really high end stuff because there's really not a, a you know big market for it, but uh, not here anyways. But for instance, I think these are five or six hundred dollar two fast cylinders. Um, this is definitely high end of the spectrum. Keep in mind, a 70 cc two fast kit like this can make upwards of 30 horsepower. It's not always about cc. You can make it's for the twin. You can make upwards of 30 horsepower or more if really 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 tuned a really high-end kit can make a lot of power where you take a 70 cc kit say an athena or air Sol or something like that and you're going to make seven and a half to ten same cc totally different design um the engineering that goes behind it and whatnot so let's get the uh polini kit and the chinese kit unboxed and kind of show you what it entails What's going on? The John does work here. 
Leo in the warranty department. I don't know what warranty. Try to get a hold of John. I said I wasn't John. He's hung up on me. You guys are so mean. So we're gonna start with our kit. I'm not gonna say the name because I'm not trying to slander any brands. And this this kit is gonna be very common to a lot of different products out there. And we're gonna then we're gonna unpack the Pelini Corsa. Um, so first off, the Chinese slash Taiwan kit, you're gonna get a cardboard box like this. No real good packing in here. To give you guys an idea um, kind of how it's how it's packed. You get a plastic bag, everything's stuffed on the inside. You've got your um, wrist pin down in there. But just so you can see, just the difference between the packing. The, the what's on this box doesn't really matter because the kit that you're getting isn't really this brand. It's, it's just being stuffed in that box and, and sold. Let's go ahead and take the stuff out of this box here. So again, that's what you get for packing. Um, it's a certificate. That is a cylinder. That's very interesting. Um, you get your wrist pin. Then this is the, the big, the big thing that kills me with these cylinders. Um, keep in mind, this is only for a stock exhaust. If you use this on a lot of aftermarket exhausts, you're gonna bend and or break your flange. But the big deal killer for me on these cheap cylinders and again, it's, I don't have anything against them if that's what you want or that's what you need. But this is your head gasket. Obviously this is gonna be something prone to leaking. It's a very cheap design. Um, it's a very cheap design. They blow out because you just have that piece of copper. So what you're doing is you're trusting that your cylinder itself is going to be true and your head's gonna be true enough to get this to seal. I'd say, Without using Honda Bond, you probably have about a 60% chance of this sealing. With Honda Bond, you're probably in the 90s. That's kind of my take on it. Then you got your base gasket, pretty standard. Paper stuff is um, is pretty basic, not a giant difference there. And then you have your stock um, exhaust gasket. With this kit, again, this is a budget kit. A lot of these kits don't come with heads. That's pretty common, but um, this one doesn't. You get your plastic bag here. A lot of times it'll be have some special uh, Taiwan grease on it. And this is a vertical cylinder. This is a 50cc just because this is what I had. But if you just take a look, first off, if you look at the quality of the actual casting, it's pretty bad. I mean, this is a very, very cheap, cheap, cheap kit. And it, it will do what you need. Um, but just the difference that you're going to get in quality the 70 cc kit is basically the same quality but you can just take a look at the finish and you can tell right off the bat okay the cylinder is definitely um a very cheap cylinder and there's not really much put into it and the brand you're never going to have a brand stamp on it or very rarely you're going to have a brand stamp because they want to take this and sell it to 100 different brands that are going to sell it under, you know, TWH may sell this, Tida may sell this, Motoforce may sell it, Naraku may sell it, all those brands. I'm not saying they do, but that's just the theory behind um, behind how, the, how Taiwan works in China with these kits. You've got your rings here. Pretty common stuff. Your C-Clips, all the, the cheaper brands always come with these in the red bag. So I'm guessing they're all from the same supplier, but at least it comes with C-Clips. Your piston doesn't look half bad, but you can tell definitely not, definitely not high quality aluminum by any means. Um, and again, this is very, very common where you're just gonna have a really kind of cheap looking product. Again, it's cheap, it's supposed to be cheap. That's what you're paying for. You get what you pay for. But this is what entails what you get in this kit. You got your cylinder, base gasket, head gasket, exhaust, two rings. And the rings typically aren't the greatest quality. But anyways, you get your two rings. And then your certificate, which I'm guessing, <laughs> um, I've never seen this with a kit. I'm guessing that the, the reason behind this is if it comes through customs, they have this and go, okay, they can have some documentation with it. But again, I've never seen anything like this before. So that's, that's definitely... That's definitely new. So we have that kit, our no name, uh, no name mystery kit over here. And what baffles me guys, everybody running Athena kits, 
you get this same style head gasket. So what you're doing is you're paying for, you're paying Italian prices, but you're getting Chinese and Taiwan style design just because it, they're cutting corners in my opinion. That's why I'm not a fan of Athena kits myself. They're really prone to head gasket leaks. And I've just, why pay that much money if you're gonna get something that doesn't have the, the um, engineering behind it and the times, you know, the lack of time, um, lack of engineering, I should say, and they wanna cut corners on machine work. So they just give you this cheap, kind of cheap karma gasket. This is not Athena kid, I'm just, just referencing them. You get the styrofoam, so you're gonna get a better, you know, less risk of any problems. Um, and always on the Polini kits, you've got your gaskets and stuff on the outside. I get a lot of emails saying, hey guys, where's my gaskets? My gaskets didn't come. They're always gonna be strapped to the outside of your Polini cylinder kits. So before you call or make emails saying, hey, I'm missing all my stuff, being upset, please check all the packaging because 99% of the time it's in there and it's it, it's gonna be in different locations on the box. First thing you're gonna wanna do with the Polini kit, take your trusty knife, your wife's kitchen knife or whatever it is you're using. Don't cut yourself, of course. I think I cut myself on the last video I did actually, so do as I say, not as I do. This kit comes with instructions. Um, if you can read Italian, that's great. There is a um, English instructions in here somewhere. Let's see here. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Anyways, um, this kit, you get a sticker, all right? You get some carbon reeds. And again, this kit is, is about twice the price of this one. So obviously it's gonna be uh, totally different, but you get some carbon reeds. You get an intake manifold gasket, which is not, obviously you don't get one with the other kit. You get a rubber O-ring, that's for your head gasket. And this is, this is the design that you really should be running on your bike, if you can justify it. You get a nice metal base gasket as well, and a paper exhaust gasket. Um, that's what you get in that bag. That's what you get in the bag and it's all on the outside. Um, and actually, I think they used to put the rings in here, but Polini doesn't anymore. So I misspoke a little bit um, earlier. They've always had their stuff strapped to the outside and I, I thought they used to do the rings out there, but. So again, you get the nicer styrofoam, of course, which everything counts. I mean, naturally the other stuff is gonna get a little bit more dinged up and shaken up just because, uh, just because of lack of packing. And again, they're just, this is not, you know, the companies aren't doing you they're not burning you because they're not packing it like that. You get what you pay for with this stuff. You're not gonna get the nice packaging and whatnot. You're not gonna get the protection, the bubble wrap. You, you don't get that because you're not paying for it. That's just something you have to keep in mind. It's not that this kit is just junk. It's that you get what you pay for. Um, some guys go out and buy a new car, they buy a, a Toyota. And some guys go out and buy a car and they buy a Hyundai or something like that, or something that's cheaper. Obviously, you know, you're know you not gonna get um, you're not going to get the greatest of quality. This guy comes with a champion plug. Not really the greatest plugs, but I suggest using them for break-in and switching to an NGK. You get a aluminum head. And this is nice because you've got the machine groove for the O-ring here. So you have the improved dome here, and then you have the improved design, and you get the head to go with it, where you don't get that with the cheaper kit. Bubble wrapped, which is nice. Pull this guy out. Remember all the gaskets and everything are in the other box, but just the, the actual casting itself. And you're always gonna have that stamp on the cylinder. If somebody tells you they have a Polini or Melosi cylinder and it's not stamped, that, that's not the case. Every Polini, um, Melosi, and every high quality kit is gonna have that stamp. So the course is a factory chamfered cylinder as well. So all your ports are gonna be chamfered, which is nice. This kit, you get a better quality clips here and those have the little uh, G clips is what they call them they have the little rings you can get in and squeeze to fit it better you've got a um, higher quality wrist pin bearing and if you look at how thin this bearing is this one is much thicker so this is a much I'm sorry the pin this pin is much thicker than this one and not the outside the the outside's the same but if you look at the material it's just a this is going to be a much 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 stronger um, stronger pin that's probably going to resist um, heating and seizing up so you get a better quality pin you get better quality C clips and again if you're if your pin 
locks up, your C clips fall out, your whole entire cylinder is toast. So those things do matter. You've got exhaust studs. The other kit does not come with exhaust studs. From the factory, you're gonna use uh, bolts on this bike, two bolts, but this comes with studs, which is really nice because then you can just take the nuts off, on and off, and um, not have to take these studs out and risk you know, seizing them or breaking them or stripping them or whatever. Good quality studs always come with these kits. The Polini, the rings are installed. And what you get is you get a, a, a black ring on the top and you get a chrome uh, ring on the, or black ring on the bottom and chrome on the top because that's how the courses get it. You always get the higher quality chrome ring. The piston is definitely a better quality piston than what you're gonna get. And it's just really nice fit. They keep it all in here locked in this way to keep everything safe. Obviously your rings are never gonna break it in packaging like this, it's, it's impossible. The piston is a much higher quality piston, you can see. Um, also this piston is going to be, where is it? Kind of hard to see, but the piston is stamped Polini in the casting, so you know you're getting a piston that's made specifically for Polini. This could be sourced, this, this is probably in 50 different kits where this one says Polini on it, so it is just a Polini uh, piston, same with the cylinder. This this is not some cylinder that they're buying from some supplier in China. Um, they're having this they're having this crafted and made just for them specifically. Obviously, the finish is much 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 better on the Corsa. Your ports are all chamfered as well on the Corsa, so they're there. I would still definitely. I mean, it's it's always good to chamfer every single cylinder you get, but the quality is definitely much 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 better. You're gonna get just better quality casting you're going to get more of more true surfaces the odds that that surface is true is probably very very slim when you have an italian cylinder it's going to definitely take heat much better than um say a taiwan just because of the materials and tolerances you get your wrist pin bearing here as well and some of the kits are going to come with the main jet keep in mind some of the main jets are not going to work with the usa bikes uh like the hondas and whatnot the jets that come with the hondas are only made for the japanese and uh and european model carbs but there you have it, guys. This kit over here, we'll call it uh, the budget kit. Um, this is a, a 49cc, of course, but in theory, it's all gonna be kind of the same component, same packaging and, and the same parts for the most part. This kit is definitely not gonna last as long. It's gonna be more prone to leaking. The quality's not as good. Again, just take what you've learned from, from just being a human being and knowing that you get what you pay for. Some stuff is overpriced, yes, but, but in this scenario, you can clearly see the packaging is better, the quality is better, you get more stuff with it. Hopefully that helps you guys uh, kind of see the difference between a $99 kit and a $200 kit. Um, if you're okay with having something that's lower quality that may not last as long, by all means, that's a great choice for you or you got a budget you're working with, that's fine. Just be prepared that it, you're, that it does make a difference. You get what you pay for. There's a big difference in all these components. And the same goes for pipes, brake parts, um, belts, all this stuff. What you pay, you get what you pay for, just like cars and, and everything else. Quality of pipes are gonna be better, of course. They're gonna run better. They're gonna last longer, be quieter if you spend a little bit more money and get a better product. That being said, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, post up below. And uh, happy, happy motor building.